section 3.1, pairs of lines and angles. In part one, we're going to take a moment and think in 3D for a little while. We've been spending a lot of time looking at shapes, lines, objects in 2D, but for this section right here, we need to open our minds and think about 3D, so three dimensions. We have length, width, and height. In 3D, we want to consider the possible relationships between two pairs of lines. The first possibility is intersecting lines. With intersecting lines, two line are two lines that share a single common point, and that's the point of intersection. For example, if I had line L, which intersects with line M at point A. So lines L and M are intersecting lines. The important thing to realize is that if we have intersecting lines, then the lines are coplanar. Both of them can exist within the same plane. If lines do not intersect, then we have two options. That we have parallel lines or that we have skew lines. With parallel lines, parallel lines means we are in a single plane, so we are restricted to do two dimensions, say plane P. If lines L and M do not intersect and they are coplanar, then they must be parallel. So parallel lines are two coplanar lines that do not intersect. The last possible relationship between lines are skew lines. Skew lines are two non-coplanar lines, non-coplanar lines that do not intersect. I want you to think for a moment of, let's see, let's think about a box. Pretty simple. I can imagine if I extended this back top line of the box. And if I also extended, let's say, this front left side. We'll name those lines L and M. Then lines L and M are skew lines. The reason they are skew lines is because we can imagine lines L and M extending forever in either direction. These two lines will not intersect. They never will. However, they're also not parallel because it is impossible to put both of them on the same plane. Thus, we have the definition for skew lines, which is two non-coplanar lines that do not intersect. An example of parallel lines in this picture would be line N here. Notice M and N are in the same plane. They're both part of the top of this box. Lines M and N are parallel. We also see that lines L and N intersect at point A. Okay, based on what you've just learned about intersecting lines, parallel lines, and skew lines, answer the following questions based on this diagram of a box. Take a moment, pause your video, resume when you're ready to see the solution.